Hello, I'm Tom Bailey, and in today's episode, I'll be getting to know Stuart Webb, who is an expert business growth mentor and also business success mentor. He's also a non-exec director as well as an author and a podcast host. So Stuart, hello and a very warm welcome to today's episode. Hi Tom, and um, very, very well, a lot of thanks for, for having me on the show. Thank you for that introduction. It sounded very flattering from this end. I don't know about what anybody yeah. else is thinking. Excellent, there's more to come yet. So just out of interest, whereabouts in the world are you right now? I'm just uh, just north of sort of the Birmingham area in the Midlands of the UK, um, yeah. between uh, a place called Derby and uh, and uh, Burton on Trent, in a little village very close to where Jeremy Clarks, and if you've heard of him, went to school. Yes, I know him very well, and thanks for that. So just to share a little bit more about you before we do get started. So, as well as everything else I've already mentioned, Stuart is also a consultant that helps growth hungry business owners and innovators to attract more clients and explode their growth. And his book is called The Five Simple Steps to Growing Your Business. The title for today's episode is How to Double Your Profits in Under a Year. And Stuart's going to show us how to do that in just seven minutes. So question number one today is who are your ideal clients? So uh, my ideal clients are business owners who've uh, pretty much grown a successful business from sort of, you know, being the, the startup. And I've probably reached somewhere around the sort of um, four to five hundred thousand pound turnover and they're now really looking to accelerate that into the sort of millions and I work with them to sort of put in place the strategy that helps them to do that. Fantastic and when they're trying to build that strategy what's typically the biggest challenge that they face? But to take any business to the next level they really need to both refine their vision and the way in which they're acting upon that vision as, a, as, a, as an entrepreneur they probably need to translate that to a management team in order to sort of get them to act behind that vision. Some of that management team may not even have been recruited if they're going through that very rapid growth phase. Uh, they need to transform their marketing to absolutely ensure they're targeting tar the, the right customers for that growth. Uh, they need to be able to deliver and satisfy customers and that can be a key issue. And they need to be able to also collect the cash from doing that. And finally, at the end of just a short list of things like that to do, they've got to ensure complete governance of all of that operation so they don't fall foul of any regulatory authorities or uh, uh, the, the tax authorities. Absolutely. And that, that may feel overwhelming for some people listening. And, and I think it is an overwhelming list. That's, yeah. Tom, that's one of the problems. Yeah. And, and I guess if, if they're unable to achieve all of this, what impact does that typically have on their business? Well, yeah, absolutely. Too many of them have got no experience in many of those areas. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and that's where one of, one of those may fall down and, and the growth may not happen or, or leave them with cash flow issues. Most businesses don't run out of ideas. They run out of cash. And yeah. that's the cause of failure. So just having one of those areas which is exposed and therefore not quite, uh, not quite working could lead to a, a deficit in that cash and they could fall, uh, uh, fail as a business. And that's something that no person that's trying to grow their business to sort of a million plus really wants to see happen. Absolutely not. So what is one piece of valuable advice that you might give to somebody to really help them on this journey? You know, there's a lot to do. And I just sort of, sort of frightened everybody, I think, with sort of saying all those things you need to do. But actually, it's really not that difficult. You need to just be very clear and prioritise and make sure that you understand the key things. And I often suggest that the first step to doing this, because it has such a great impact on the way in which you can grow your business and exit, you can get something like seven times the order book for your business if you've got some very simple documentation. So I suggest you start with looking at those areas that I just talked about. Um, what's your vision, uh, the, the management team, uh, your, key sales and pro, uh, your key sales and marketing, your delivery and administration and your governance. And you just make a note of yeah. two things. What is the key process in each of those areas? And what is the key policy you have in place in each of those areas? And just a simple set of documentation around that will enable you to one, get control of it, and to be able to get greater value for your business. And I do, will just digest at this moment. I had, a, I had a customer who did that at the beginning of the pandemic and realized that they had a website, but no way of collecting cash from the website when mm -hmm. they did that. And that became a key driver for them to ensure their key cash was collected from the website. And therefore they stayed in business during the last pandemic shutdown that we had. 
Fantastic. So important. And what is also one valuable resource that you might share with people to help them solve this problem? Uh, so obviously you've mentioned uh, my book, so I'd encourage anybody to go and get a copy of my book. You can get that from thecompleteapproach.co.uk forward slash five steps book. But I've also got a one page download and you can get that as well. So that's thecompleteapproach.co.uk forward slash one page. And you can get those two downloads free from my website and that will enable you to see some of the advice that I'm giving you here about uh, beginning to that journey to get your business in shape. Brilliant. Thank you so much. And what I'll do is I'll post both of those links into the show notes so people can click them and just dive right in. Thank you very much, Tom. No problem. So quick question about yourself. What is one of the, or what would you say is one of the greatest either mistakes or values you've made either in life or business? Uh, there there are so do? many of these I could talk for hours, but I'll try and keep it to a short one. I started my life as a medical research scientist before I became a business growth coach. Uh, and I was working in a, a hospital in a university environment. And I came across a guy called Tim Berners-Lee, who was developing mm -hmm. this thing, which I thought we could use to teach medical students by drawing information from all across the world. And I thought this was a great uh, solution to a lot of the problems I had. This thing was beginning to develop. It was called the World Wide Web. It was very new. I took yeah. it to the head of the computing center at the university and said, this is a brilliant idea. We should dive into it. And he said, it's a waste of your time. Get on with something more useful. It will die a death. Yeah. I listened to him and mm. I missed the opportunity of developing, uh, the, although I did put up a World Wide Web server and started using it, I was diverted onto other things. And I learned that just because somebody has reached a position of authority and just because they seem to have experience doesn't mean that they haven't actually learned not to, to think new and exciting thoughts. You can so often be allowed to be dragged into what other people think because you think they have experience. Sometimes you've just got to look around and go, do you know, they may just be uh, too uh, old and, and too constrained by their thoughts in order to go to a new direction. So sometimes break the mold. Absolutely. What a valuable lesson to learn. And the last question for me today is what is the one question that I should have asked you that will also give some great value to our audience? I'd say to you, Tom, you haven't asked me why you. Uh, and the answer yes. I give you is when you're choosing a business mentor, you really need someone who gets you your business and has made the mistakes that you're likely to make and live to tell the tale. Uh, yeah. You know, a flashy suit, uh, an expressive website uh, doesn't necessarily do it. You need to make sure you've got somebody who's sort of you're in your tribe. And, and, you know, we all need to be much more choosy about the people we're working with because life's too short to be working with people who frankly don't build us and help us to grow. Absolutely. Stuart, thank you so much for your time again today. I really appreciate you being here. Tom, it's been a pleasure, it really has.